an important part of your life on campus are the residence halls. This will be your home away from home while you attend SUNY Junceo. My name is Luciano and I'll be walking through some five safety tips that will help you stay safe. This is a typical student's room in a residence hall. You can see, hmm, what's this? This student isn't being very safe. In fact, what he's doing is a fire hazard. Rather than hang your clothes from a sprinkler, put them in your closet. That is, after all, what it is there for. In case the worst happen and a fire does break out, here the fire detection system in a typical residence hall. This is a fire alarm. When a fire is detected, these units will sound the alarm telling you to evacuate. <phone rings> Evacuation procedure notices a spring throughout the building that show you the way to get out. Every room comes equipped with a smoke detector. These are here for your safety. Please do not cover them. These nozzles are for the sprinkler system. Water will be dispensed in the event of a fire. Having so many safety devices is quite handy, but here are a few more tips to prevent a fire in your room. Don't display more than one or two posters per person. The extra paper on the walls can feed a fire. Also, do not hang posters from the ceiling. Do not use a plate in your room. Every residence hall come equipped with a kitchen for your use. Remember to keep it clean. Keep burnable items away from stovetops. Keep shoes and other items out of the hallways to provide a safe evacuation if necessary. Damaged electrical cards should be replaced immediately. Surge protectors typically last around five years, so if you bring a brand new one with you, it should be all set. Speaking of surge protectors, do not overload them as they may cause a fire. Christmas lights look nice, but are a fire hazard. Do not hang them inside your room. By following these simple steps, you can go a long way toward ensuring your safety during your time at Geneseo. For more information, please visit Mike Sweeney or Mary Hope in the ISS office.